Good morning. Someday, some of y'all need to sit up here and look at y'all and see what we see. Now, we were singing about heaven. Some of you need to smile a little bit. My goodness. Good morning. It's good to see you this morning. Let's stand together and greet each other. Well, it is so good to be in the Lord's house on this beautiful spring morning, and I know we have some that are visiting with us. We're so glad that you're here, and we trust that you'll be blessed. Uh, We feel like that you will, and if you're here for the first time, I hope that you got a visitor's packet when you came in. There's a a card in there. If you don't mind, please fill that out and drop it in the offering plate a little bit later so that we can know that you were here and get some information out to you. But above all else, we're just glad that you're here with us today. Quite a few things that are happening uh, in the next little bit. The building fundraising committee will meet immediately after the service this morning, and Pam said right here, okay? Y'all got that? All right, y'all meet uh, Pam right up here after the service this morning. Also, there's an insert in the bulletin this morning about the uh, food drive for the Baptist Children's Home, Uh, the food drive and supply roundup. There's a list of things there that you can bring that will be a blessing to them. This starts today and goes through May the 5th, so please keep that in mind, and and we always uh, do great supporting that. Uh, Also, Betty asked me to remind you about the the blood drive. It's this coming Wednesday. There was an insert in the bulletin last week, but, of course, with it being Easter, we really didn't get to emphasize it very much. We need about 28 people. Only eight people have signed up. We need about 20 more. So if you have maybe thought about it, but it slipped your mind, uh, see Betty this morning. If you need a form, she has forms that you can fill out. Uh, But uh, get signed up today because that's this coming Wednesday. So please don't forget that. Uh, There are some other things in the bulletin. Uh, You can read that. Also wanted to uh, remind you about the tile wall sale. It's been extended. It'll go through next week, I believe is correct. Uh, and if you are still interested in doing that, there are forms in the foyer that you can use to fill out uh, for that. Uh, so those are the things that are, that are coming up in addition to our regular activities. And uh, we are so glad to be a part of what God is doing here at the church. And I'm glad, I hope that you're glad. Uh, the youth had a great time with their praise and worship retreat Friday night. And... Uh, we were, we were glad to host them and uh, to, to enjoy a good time together with them. And then the deacons and wives had a great meal last night. Uh, if I hate all of you missed it, but that was some of the best ribs I've ever eaten in my life. I uh, just, just wanted to throw that out there, just make you hungry. Uh, we had a good time last night. We're going to have our morning prayer time this morning, but... Um, I want us to this morning pray for our our pastor, especially as we have the morning prayer time. Folks, you know, the devil has harassed him and Miss Kay, and I just declare that enough is enough. And as we stand together to go to the Lord in prayer, I'm going to ask that we as a church family get out of our comfort zone, get out of our pews. I'm going to ask the Men, if you would come and join me as we surround Pastor Cook and pray for him this morning. And I'm going to ask church family, let's just all gather down to the front this morning for our prayer time, if you would. Let's stand together and let's join together.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege that we have to come into your presence this morning, to gather together with your people to worship you, to gather together, Lord, and to bring honor and glory to the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you for the freedom and the privilege that we have to do that today. And Father, we thank you for your blessings to each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings upon this church and this church family. And Father, we want to praise you this morning. And we want you to know, Lord, we love you and we honor you and we bless you and we praise you today. And thank you, our Heavenly Father, for your goodness to us. Thank you, Lord. And Father, I thank you that we can come boldly before your throne of grace. And Father, I thank you that you've made a way whereby we can be healed. You've made a way whereby we can be saved through faith in Jesus Christ and his shed blood on the cross. You've made a way whereby, Lord, we can live a victorious life. And Lord, we thank you for that today. And Father, there are many in our church family that have needs. And Father, we lift each and every one of them up to you today, Lord. And Father, we thank you that by the stripes of Jesus, those who need healing can be healed. And Father, we thank you that for those in our church family that have lost loved ones, we ask and pray for conviction to come upon them and for salvation to come to their houses. And Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord, that you are going to provide every need that each person has. And so, Father, we call on you as Jehovah Jireh, our provider. But, Lord, I've come right now to lift up our pastor, Jesus. Father, we love Pastor Henry and Miss Kay. And, Father, it just seems like they've been through so much. And, Lord, you know that uh, you'll never put any more upon them than they can bear. But, Lord, we stand together here this morning as a church family. Yes. And we join our hearts together and we join our voices together and we declare to the enemy that enough is enough. Yes. And we command the enemy to take his hands off of them and leave them alone in the name of Jesus. Yes. And Father, I ask you to put a hedge of protection around Pastor Henry and Miss Kay. Lord, I ask you to touch them in their physical bodies yes. and bring healing. I call on you as Jehovah Rapha this morning, the God that heals. And Lord, I declare this morning that by the stripes of Jesus, Pastor Henry is healed. Yes. Take away this pain. Take away all of these things that have been harassing him, Lord God, and bring healing to his body. Yes. And Father, I pray especially this morning as he stands before us to bring the word, Lord God, that your anointing would fall upon him in a yes. fresh and new way and power and in mind. And Father, that your word would go forth with clarity like it never has before. Yes. I come against every hindrance, obstacle, and distraction that would keep your word from going forth clearly today. And Father, I pray for breakthrough. I pray for freedom. Lord God, I pray that you'll do a work in this place today, the likes of which we've not seen before. And Father, that lost souls will be saved. Lives will be changed. And we'll give you the praise and the honor for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Children, y'all just stay right here at the front for Children's Church with Miss Julia. share a little poem that God gave me. 
I wish I'd listened closely to what my grandparents had to say and watched them as they lived for Christ each and every day. I wish I'd obeyed my parents when they told me what to do. I wish I'd taken more time to say a simple I love you. I wish I hadn't yelled at my brother and been there more when he needed me. I wish I'd realized how much my sisters pampered and nurtured me. But most of all, I wish I lived for God each and every day and shared his love and spread his light to people along the way. And my wish for you is that when you get, when you get my age, you won't have so much to wish for because you'd already done all those things. You see, when we tell our grandparents and our parents and our brothers and sisters that we love them, when we do what our mom and daddy ask us to, when we're nice to people, when we give a stranger that we've never seen before a pretty smile, when we're nice to people at school, that makes God happy. And that makes God smile. Did you know you can make God smile? He loves you so very much. And when he sees your precious face, you're precious to him indeed. And that makes him smile. And he wants you to make the people around you smile and to make them happy. So let's try to do that this week. Let's try to make God smile. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for each and every child that's here today. They are so precious in your sight. And I pray, Lord, that you would make them even more precious to us than they are now, Lord, that when we see their precious face, we'll thank you for the sunshine that you bring into our lives through them each and every day. We pray that you lead, guide, and direct each one in everything they do this week. Keep them safe, Lord. And Lord, just enfold them in your loving arms and care. In Jesus' name, amen. And for our offertory hymn, When We All Get to Heaven, we'll do all four verses. <laughs>
Amen. Tony Thomas, would you lead us in prayer, please, sir?